Christmas. Welcome to my home, welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to the second day of cookie and dessert for Christmas. So, look at the table, what are we making? One, two, three, four, five ingredients. We're making pignoli cookies. I Let, let me get started with the ingredients. Uh, I have about a cup, I might need a little more, but I just added a cup right now of pignoli cookies. I'm sorry, pignoli nuts. Uh, I have a pound of almond paste, two cups of sugar, and four egg whites at room temperature, and the zest of a lemon. The lemon really gives it a different flavor. Lemon and almond is such a Sicilian thing. It really goes well together. Si sposa no bene. That's where the expression comes in, comes in that they marry well together. So the lemon and the almond. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is you want to break up the almond because as you could see it's a hard paste so in order to be able to work it you need to break it up so in the fruit processor we're going to add the one pound of the almond paste I'm going to toss it so it gets all crumbly that's what you want perfect now i'm going to go ahead okay take a look what it looks like because this is really oh you know what it needs a little bit more I didn't see it inside. How wonderful it is. Now I'm going to add half of the sugar. And I'm going to go ahead and do that again. I'm going to whip up the eggs with the remaining of the sugar. It's going to be a sticky dough, but I'll show you how easy it is. Actually, this is a good time to put your oven on on 325 because this part goes quick, so that's uh, going to be done already. I'm going to add the uh, zest of the lemon and then mix in, there it goes. And mix in this, uh, I'm going to say a third at a time. I like to do this. Just wet my hand, grab a little portion of it, okay? And then just dip it in the pignoli nuts. And what that does is that the nuts are going to be on the bottom and on top. So you're really making a decadent cookie. One beautiful, delicious cookie. Let me continue on. Trying to make them all the same size. So this is the size that should be. Let me just show you. See that? Like that size. Again, just dip them in the pignoli nuts. And... Just leave them apart because um, they're gonna grow so they expand that's that's the right word they expand so you're gonna need uh, space I'm gonna continue on and I'll meet you back till I get a couple more done got the trays filled I still have more but I want to get these in the oven for you to see all right let's get them in the oven we'll time it 325 I don't know how long they gotta be in there. I never time anything, but I will for you. I had some leftover dough, so I wanna show you a different type of a cookie. I just put it in a piping bag with a star tip. It's a JM3M, in case you wanna order the same one. And I'm gonna show you, we're going to make a different type of Christmas cookie. Just push and release. Push and release. A little colorful cherry right in the middle. And you just slightly push it down. Just gently push it down. I got the, the red ones too and make red and green ones. But I just happen to have the, the green ones on hand. 
They look absolutely beautiful. 24 minutes of pie. Oh, they look perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Take a look at this. Aren't they just beautiful? Okay, we're done. I just want to show you the uh, Binoli cookies because you see I was rolling it. Even the bottom is full of the pine nuts. And that's what makes it super delicious. Let's open one up. Look at that, chewy and delicious. Wow, I didn't taste one, but I'm gonna taste it now. Soft, almond, the crunchiness, the lemon zest. Love it, love it, love it. This is delicious. Thank you for watching. Happy holidays. Do make these recipes, they're simple and delicious. We can get together with a lot of people this year, but guess what? Make packages of these delicious cookies, mail them to them, drop them off in the mailbox because that's what I'm gonna be doing. Thank you for watching, happy holidays. Alla prossima ci vediamo. Ciao, ciao.